Hello, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to review another Tom Ford fragrance. Uh, this one is one that doesn't get a lot of love from what I've seen. Um, it's one of my favorites, uh, just because I love the, the note of rose, but it's definitely one of those, like I said, that doesn't get very much love. And today we are talking about Cafe Rose. This is one of the ones that launched, I believe it was a garden collection from Tom Ford, and um, it was definitely one of the more popular ones. It's the only one that made it out of that one. So it used to come with a purple sticker. Since then, it has been rebranded to be like the rest of the Tom Ford line. It comes with the box, just like the rest of the Tom Ford private blend. Tom Ford at the top. Sticker millimeter information at the back it has the ingredients and then at the bottom it has the barcode and batch code you pull up like so and then it has its nice little stand some people use these as displays and then just prop up the box i have all of mine's displayed on a shelf though so i definitely there typically don't put the box out i store the boxes though for I don't know, I'm weird like that, so. So we're gonna get into the sprain. So the sprayer, you pop off the lid, like so. There's a sprayer nozzle. It's gold to match the rest of the packaging. It's a your regular sprayer. It's not like a misty, you know, Louis Vuitton or Dior sprayer, but it is nice. So it is a very creamy rose. So a lot of people will probably not care for the actual rosy scent but you, you get that coffee creamy coffee like at the bottom I'm assuming there's also some tonka bean here so the top notes on this one are going to be may rose saffron and black pepper the heart notes are going to be Bulgarian rose coffee and Turkish rose so we, we get that same repeat you know those three roses are in a uh, rose prick uh, it's also going to have at the base notes amber, patchouli, sandalwood, and frankincense. I don't get any frankincense in this, but I mean, it's listed as an ingredient. I do get some amber and patchouli in there. Um, so, versus like rose prick, it's not as dry. So, rose prick is more of a dry rose experience, while this one is more of a actual. I don't know, like a true rose experience. It's like smelling a true rose, but with that coffee creaminess. So it's like a creamy, wet rose. So it kind of, I wouldn't go as far to say that it kind of resembles La Coelle Noire by Dior or Rose de Vence by Louis Vuitton, but it has a little bit of a similarity to it. So it's not too abstract, too different, but it does have that simple, deep, classicness that Tom Ford fragrances do which you know some people love them and some people don't this one is still being manufactured it used to be made in a decant size I did see on the Tom Ford website that they discontinued that size I believe it only comes in this guy and in the uh, 3.4 or 100 millimeter bottle um, so I believe it's 270 for this size and 370 for the uh, 100 ml bottle so yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorites. I did order this from the Tom Ford website. I do really like it. Would I say it's better than the Rose Prick? They're... I know people say you can only have so many rosy fragrances, but definitely it's one of those that I would say it's more of a winter fall scent. It's not one that you would want to wear unless you're going to like dinner or something in the summertime because it is you know, very strong fragrance. It does project for a long time and it does last on the skin a long time. So it does have really good longevity and projection. Um, but I wouldn't say that it's anything like Rose Brick because this is more of, like I said, your creamy wet rose versus your dry rose from like Rose Brick. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great, you know, rest of your week. Bye.